Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a quick announcement video. Well, this is not going to be quick for a start, and I'm hoping that you guys will actually watch, because I really would like your guys' input. But I actually have, like, new, new style, like, papers to um, go through, because I, I, I've made a quick few notes, because... It's going to be regarding a change to the format of the channel and the streaming. Uh, so I'm going to have to try and, when I stream, make a note to send people to this video as well so that they can... You know, like I said, last time I tried to stream, I got a blue screen of death for the first time. And what meant I couldn't stream. I couldn't figure out the problem. I was trying to figure it out. And then when I did, it was too late to start streaming. So I started thinking. And the way I'm set up at the moment with the four slots, at most I'm playing four different games and I would like to be playing more I would like to be playing a lot more of a variety of games now I also feel that the way I'm doing it at the moment uh, whether it be the streamed or the uh, you know solely for YouTube like the Union of Numa uh, the Union of Numa I can get a quicker turnaround because I'm yeah, recording in smaller batches so if you comment on the YouTube video then it's three or four episodes usually and then I can reply to you but I would like for certain games, I would like to be able to get a... Maybe not a quicker turnaround in number of days. Because I don't think that's possible. i got to give you guys enough time to watch it. But a quicker turnaround in like the video. So if you comment on video 10, like I should hopefully know about it by video 11. Uh, so, with thinking about all of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to repurpose what is currently, as I see it anyway, the 6am uh, slot. Uh, what do I have in that slot at the moment? Oh, for Christ. I should have figured this out before I came, but Drive... I think it's for Byzantium. Oh, come on, Drive. Just load up... I, I only want to go to here. It's quite simple. Yeah, it's for Byzantium uh, slot at the moment, but... It doesn't necessarily mean that one's over. Uh, yeah. It's that slot which is going to be freed up. It might have to move to go into whatever slot fills up, but... Bah. That slot is going to become freed up. Um, because... There are certain games which I do also don't fit the um, the sort of 20 minutes, half an hour s slot of time as well. If we was to... I, I, I think I'm going to open up this slot up to larger videos. And I'm thinking of using it for games alike. Oh, larger videos, but not daily videos. Uh, so this slot... Although I'm hoping to have content on it daily, it won't be the same game every day. Um, I, as I try to do a Blood Bowl, you know, a non-daily release, Blood Bowl is almost certainly something that's going to be coming back. I don't know how many of you watched it, but I want to play it more. Uh, so probably the, say, the Wednesday and the Saturday of the um, 6 o'clock time slot will be filled by Blood Bowl, and that'll be complete games... Maybe split into two because of, you know, previous quirks with my uh, YouTube, my internet provider not liking me la uploading large files and instantly accusing me of piracy, but <laughs> I will hopefully not have to do that, but we'll look into that. I was also thinking like other games like Factorio. I really enjoyed playing Factorio. However, I feel it is a game that if I was to get playing it, I would like to be able to have the YouTube comments help me a hell of a lot more. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, as it is, yeah, I'd, I'd record like, um, well, if we look at it, say I did a stream and I recorded for seven days, that's going to be anywhere between, or up to, three and a half hours worth of content. So if I do something dumb in the first episode, because there's not always a huge number of people in the streams, there's a good number, and sometimes I'm playing a game and there's people watching it and they're, well, they know about as much as me, which is... In that case, is not a lot. In FT uh, Factorio's case, is not a lot. Because, you know, it's a new game that I'm sort of bringing to them. But there are lots of people on the YouTube who will watch it. And they'll know a hell of a lot more. So, they might be screaming at me for seven days. Just move that sodding insert of there and it'll work. <laughs> so, what I'm hoping is, like, since it's maybe do Factorio three times a week. That's set me to five. And then, you know... There's another slot to fill in. And I was thinking of other games along the lines of, like, FTL. I would even do FTL as, like, complete runs. Instead of how I was previously doing it, so that it was, like, daily content, I was doing it sort of sector by sector. Well, I think 
the, ge well, the general consensus on YouTube on the FTL like community is it's sort of like all the road likes where you do like a complete run as one video. And I'm honestly starting to see that makes a hell of a lot more sense. Uh, so that's what FTL will now be. So maybe one of the days will be an FTL run. Um, I was thinking of the Binding of Isaac. Um, Halfstone, which I have played a little bit on stream, but not much on anything else. Uh, the Telltale games. Trying to cut them to get them into the 30-minute episodes was annoying as hell. Uh, so if I could put up, like, the entirety of the chapter... Yeah, the, the, the release, the uh, how they cut them up, I forget what they call it, I think it's chapters, um, you know, in one go, that would probably work better. Kerbal Space Program, maybe instead of trying to do like the 30 minutes on each of them, do... Right, this is the mission that you guys have set me, and now I'm going to try and do it. I love the idea of career mode, but... Actually, it probably would still be in career mode, but yeah. <clears throat> Have like, do a set mission, and complete it in that video instead of like maybe starting a mission halfway through a video and then two or three videos later 10 minutes in finishing in it um let's try and keep a bit more consistency there now i'm still trying not to do a lot of um post work you know editing wise like for i know i, I do watch uh hannah of the cast for instance and she does um, so, so, yeah, Assassin's Creed games and things like that and she cuts them so they fit into the episodes. I really don't want to do that. I like the idea of a game being the game. Now, to be honest, probably cutting out some of the boring parts will make the videos a hell of a lot better. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I, I, I hope that there's not that many boring parts because this is, this is what I feel the YouTube commentator is for. I'm pointing like at myself and then at the mic and you guys can't see this. This is so idiotic me. It's like when I salute at the end of a video. Do you guys even know that I do that? You know when I say like, uh, unfortunately I'll have to say goodbye. I salute and then say goodbye. That's why there's a gap. In fact, can I get my head close enough so you can hear my fingers come off my head? Ow, I just hit the mic. That probably was quite loud. I apologize. <laughs> but I hit the, um, the pop scream and then the boom moved and yeah, I have a mic boom. Um, <laughs> but I was also thinking like that slot, um, Maybe if you do it only like once a week, we could uh, put in a sort of like a let's look at content for that. Yo, know, a because a few of you suggested a few games which I've looked into, and then I thought, oh, do I want to do like a full series on them? Um, I I could maybe consider myself doing like one run through of them, but that's I don't know whether that would be what would people want or whether we want to continue in, but. Maybe, like, once a week doing a Let's Look At, like, for instance, this War of Mine and um, The Escapist uh, was two that was mentioned in the, uh, like, what game should we play video. And I do actually want to have a look and have a play of them, but I I think that's probably going to be, like, more of a Let's Look At. Now, let's see. I've just mentioned what will be changing on the YouTube channel. I did say there probably be things changing on the streams as well. Now... If there is one less slot for like the stream LPs, because at the moment when I do a stream, it's like for that one game, and sort of like that's it. You know, once I finished, um, or filled up on the hard drive space, or I've finished that particular amount that I need to record, the stream is over. You know, it's usually about four hours. If I'm only going to be having two streaming LPs, that, at the current system would mean dropping down to. Um, to maybe, you know, instead of like being three or four streams a week, it drop it down to like, say, two streams a week, which I don't want to do. Uh, so what I was considering doing, and again, I would love your guys' input on this. I'll have, um, I'll, at the end of the video, I'll tell you the best ways to start like getting in touch with me. There is the YouTube comments, but I'll put in other ways as well in case you don't want to use them. But... What I was thinking is, at the moment I put out an announcement that's saying at, for instance, 1800 GMT plus zero, I'll be streaming CK2. Well, what I was thinking is adding in some pre and post stream content. You know, have a set number of episodes, which I'll announce in the, um, you know, the video as well, like saying I'm going to be recording four episodes of this, which I, I did try to move away from doing multi 
content streams because on Twitch it doesn't seem to work, but it's going to have to fit for me. <laughs> uh, so maybe like starting at 1800 GMT, then I would do the CK2. But m I would say try to get on uh, to um, you know, start the stream itself at say 1700 or 1730. So like an hour, half an hour before and play a quick run of Isaac or FTL or a couple of hands of Hearthstone. You know, again, getting the content to fill in the other days when I'm not, say, doing Factorio or Blood Bowl or one of the one of the ones where I want to do the longer format games. I mean, Isaac, I'm guessing, is between half hour and hour of a run. I have never played it. I should point that out now. I have never, ever, 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 ever played it. But partly because of that, I want to. <laughs> um, one of my mates has said before, and it made me laugh this because he's a COD person and like almost solely gaming-wise a COD person, or maybe a bit of FIFA. Uh, if you're American, think Madden, you know, basically this. <laughs> basically, it's a completely different game it's based on, but the way that they come out and everything, it's exactly the same, you know, yearly, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, he's a pro gamer. <laughs> Just thought he's a pro gamer. Um, but, um, and he said that my particular selection of games was very narrow. I'm like, but I'm playing Mountain Blade where I'm running around slashing people. I'm uh, you know, F uh, FTL where I'm flying around in space. I'm uh, Crusader Kings where I'm controlling a dynasty, you know, trying to go for the world domination. I'm Grimworld where I'm stranded on a colony trying to survive. I'm, you know, I, I thought that there was a... Oh, and then the, like, the story base of The Wolf Among Us we had on Game Dev Tycoon, which we had on before, which I wouldn't mind doing again. But there's some very interesting competitor mods on there. But... I thought I had a reasonably wide selection of games, and then I'm like, well, no, actually. It is... very usually grand strategy and sim. Now, I do enjoy them, but I would like to mix it up with, you know, your sort of... I want to describe Isaac as a two-stick dungeon shooter. I've been told that's not the correct way of calling it, but it feels to me like you know, you're walking one way and you're shooting the other way. I don't even know the controls, so I'm guessing like WASD and the number pads, you know, one move, one shoot. I don't know. <laughs> so that'll probably be fun for the first couple of runs. With Rebirth coming out, I don't feel like I'm too far behind the curve on um, the meta as well. I, I think uh, if Northern Lions just completed like the last of the challenge runs, I don't really know what they are. Um, so I'm guessing... I am late to the game on that, but it's not going to be too late, and I can play a little bit. And then Hearthstone, I actually want to make a proper run one time on the um, ladder. You know, maybe for, I, I don't know how long the periods run. Is it monthly, the ladders reset or something like that? But yeah, maybe do at least, in every stream, four or five hands. And just see where I could rank, because I don't play it enough for one to learn the game that well at the moment, but two... I'm never going to rank up that much because I don't play enough hands. And it is sort of one of those things where you're going to have to play a lot. I think... I, I, I've gone completely off the, like the, the sheet that I wrote down here. But I think I've covered everything. Um, part of the reason for doing this was so that we could get the greater interaction with certain games with a longer format videos that wouldn't be daily. Another part of the reason is so that I can play a larger variety of games and hopefully uh, bring more games to the content. And the um, Let's Look At, I'm hoping that if I can get that a little bit bigger as well, that I might even be able to talk to some indie devs and, you know, bring you games which either aren't out yet or aren't as popular. If you guys know of any... Like, really small... You probably have to be really small to bother talking to me. But, like, really small indie team making a game or even a mod for a game that, we you know, we play. Like, for instance, I'm going to definitely bring back some more uh, democracy. Uh, one of our subs, uh, my subs, uh, Mr. Coaster. I know he makes mods for that, and I would like to be able to showcase... Not in, like, sort of like a mod review, but as a, you know, a playthrough of people's mods. And uh, that's probably one thing we'll do with a Let's Look At. If you say if you make a... Or you know someone who's made a F FTL ship and you think, yo, you'd like to have it shown off. Yo, you could let me know and then I could do something like that as well. 
would like to get into mods a lot more. <laughs> That's another thing, Crusader Kings 2 and EU4 are like the games where a lot of my channel is based on. There's huge mods for it, and because... I mean, think of the Union and Numa, it's still using... Because I kept the thumbnails as they were for that series, even when I changed the uh, layout. The Union and Numa is actually still running on my old thumbnails. I've gone through entire XCOM runs and stuff like that in the time that I've had these new thumbnails. So... I... The way I play at the moment, I don't really have time to get through to all of the mods. I mean, I've played a couple of them with Joe when we've been looking at content to play for multiplayer, but... There's just... There's just not, um... I, I can't do runs quick enough to look at the mods, so I'd like to be able to go... And, you know, have a quick install, a quick hour look at one of the mods or something like that. Which might be a bit excessive for some people. I think I might even do... On the Let's Look at maybe do an hour worth of gameplay. And then maybe condense it into a similar to a WTF is. Obviously, I'll have to come up with my own name for that. But I, I think if I say that, you know, Total Biscuits WTF is, you guys will understand what I mean. I, I mean that doing that for the mods, uh, maybe for the games as well. Um, I'm going to have to come up with names for slots. I was looking before at doing my humble first impressions, uh, which was going to be based around the humble bundles. Because you know, uh, there's a lot of games that I haven't played, so that might actually come into fruition. I might say set a day aside, or uh, when a humble bundle comes out, the entire week's content may be related to the games in that humble bundle. You know, giving you a chance to see what the games are and maybe considering buying it. That was sort of what I wanted to do. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to have enough time for this. I'm also, well, one last thing which I do want to point out, which um, I haven't said yet, is I really want to try and set up a multiplayer game with you guys of either Crusader Kings or Europa Universalis or something. I really enjoy playing with you guys, but I feel it's not something I can just announce in a stream video, you know, like an out uh, date for the eight hours before. You have a stream announcement videos which I put up. It's something which... I'll probably try for the weekends. Um, like, for instance, on a Saturday or Sunday. And we'll try and maybe give, like, a week's notice to what the game's going to be and try and figure out who's going to be able to attend, what will be the best times and stuff. And I'm... Because I don't have the House Doom forums up, uh, I would love them to be up, but I think I'm going to start using the Reddit that I... subreddit that I created a good bit more um, and I might even be using that for the co I, would, I would love to use it instead of the comment section but I, don't, I, I, I love the fact that you comment so I don't want to say that uh, but for like for certain things like when you guys are suggesting games to me or for, like for the look at and stuff I feel the reddit would be better because one it would be a concise place too if any of you other guys went there and you saw it it would be yeah, you, you could vote it up and that system actually works so I can see. Um, whereas the problem with the YouTube comments is they're like scattered across. Uh, let's see. Um, let's quickly just go to my channel. And I believe on the about page it'll tell me how many videos. Nope. Um, dear God, this channel's been running for almost two years. I'm disappointed in that. It should be a lot bigger than this by now. Um, how do I find out how many videos I've got? I have a video editor? A video manager? Great studio, video manager. Yeah, currently, if you was to comment on like a random video, fair enough. I should get an email. I should get a notification from YouTube to go to it. But guys, honestly, the amount of times I've missed a comment and then like someone else comments on the same video and I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll reply to both of you. Uh, <laughs> but... Over 1,000 and, sorry, 1,420 videos. And that's just on this channel, never mind my old one as well. I'm thinking that I might end up having to create a second channel. Um, the way I'm going to be splitting up some of this content, but that's, that's my thoughts as is. I really hope you guys have gone through and listened to this. If you have, honestly, thumbs up, because it is not a very coherent stream. But I'm going to try and work it out a bit more completely 
But I would love your guys' input, and then I think what I'll probably do is try for starting this, I was going to say in December. Um, yeah, sometime in December. I was going to say for the start of December, but being that's in um, yeah, Monday. <laughs> I might not have time. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.